Do you know one of those virtue signaling folks? You know the ones who are big believers that we should all be paying more tax and paying our fair share. Uh, people who are basically hashtag any new movement. They're always on it. It's the latest Me Too movement. Whatever movement it is, they're supporting. Uh, they want to save the planet. They feel we're destroying the earth. Uh, we should feed the hungry, the homeless, all these wonderful things. Now, again, I don't disagree. I think it's a great idea that we should look after our fellow man and woman. We should be stewarding the planet well. I don't disagree with any of that stuff. And I'd be happy to pay more tax if the government stewarded the money well and actually put it to good use. However, what I'd like to call out is this hypocrisy. So here's something you can do when you run across one of these fine folks. Say, hey, obviously you are dialed in. You are somebody who does all these things. Basically, you lend your time, talent, and money to all these things you obviously believe in. So here's what we'll do. Well, let's see how much, you know, I can't measure your time and talent that you're putting towards us, but how about if you bring your tax return, bring the last couple of years, and let's look at what you've been doing in the giving column, you know, donations. There was a study I read recently that, it, believe it or not, and some of you may doubt it, but it seems that people who are conservative leaning and uh, religiously based have a tendency to donate far more money than secular folks. The people who talk about all that, Martha's Vineyard, mm, maybe that kind of comes to mind lately. 50 migrants land and the people at Martha's Vineyard can't cope with 50 people. People living in multi-million dollar houses who have signs everywhere that say, we welcome everybody, come bring the tired, the homeless, the ragged, whatever. We'll look after them. Except uh, not here though. Yeah, no. So this is a great opportunity for those virtue signaling folks that you might know in your life. Ask them, challenge them, say, bring those tax returns. And obviously, I will see from those tax returns that not only are you overpaying your taxes because you believe in more taxes, you are obviously giving to so many causes so much money. And not only that, you're obviously getting a tax break for that. But hey, good for you because you're doing all these noble, virtuous things that you constantly espouse. I guarantee you they won't bring the tax returns. And most of them, if they do bring them, the donations will be paltry. I've been in the finance game for, oh, 20 plus years. I've seen thousands of tax returns. And I can tell you, most people who is talk a big game never give a big game. Anyway, hopefully this tip will help. Maybe it'll shut up that relative, that person who's always on and on and on and on. And uh, make your Thanksgiving dinner a little easier in the near future. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please post any comments you have in the comment section. You can also follow me on my Rumble and my Locals account. And I will see you next time.